Okay, so I've already set up my accordion widget and I have four different steps that I'm covering in this particular interaction here. In Adobe Captivate 12.6, the student would be required to read each of these elements on their own. They wouldn't be announced by a narrator at all. But now, of course, with Adobe Captivate 13, we can add that audio content in as well. How we do that is very straightforward. I'm going to select the first of my accordion elements. I'm going to click on the interactions icon and click on add an interaction. When I expand, this will be the trigger for that action. I will play media. So we'll select that. We'll go browse. We'll navigate to where we have our audio clips recorded. Press step one dot MP3 in this case. Click on open and then I can click done. Let's select the next element in the accordion. We'll add an interaction, expand, play media, and we'll browse to step number two and press open. We can go ahead and select number three. We're gonna add the interaction. We'll expand, we'll play media, we'll browse, and we'll do step number three. Click open. And if I wish to do number four, I select that, click add interaction, expand, play media. We'll browse to where that audio clip is and click open. Okay, I think we're ready to preview this and see how not only it looks, but how it sounds as well. All right, so like all of our widgets, the next button is disabled and it won't be enabled until I've pressed all four of these. And that's why I got rid of the play bar as well, if in case you're wondering there. So let's go ahead and press describe the behavior. Be specific and tell the person exactly what it was that offended you. This is an important first step and will help the person understand the problem. Okay, and now we'll do express your feelings using I statements. Don't just say the behavior was wrong. Tell them how it made you feel. Use I statements to help your coworker understand how their action or comments impacted you. It's an essential step to explain what acceptable behavior would be and how you expect them to behave. And lastly, I'll do number four, but pay attention to the next button here so that you can see that you're going to enable forward navigation when you click this. Finally, describing what steps you will take if you do not see a change in their behavior will help them understand the seriousness of the matter. These steps should be based on the reporting process from the harassment policy. And of course, your students can now press the forward button and continue with the rest of your project.